I'm Seven Mitchell, T7M Radio. This is Crosswords. T7M Radio brings to you Crosswords Battle Raps One on One Debate Podcast with your host and moderator, Seven Mitchell. Wow. So, let's get into man some predictions. Cold case, Black Ice Cartel going down January 27th. Let's go Vixen the Assassin versus Coffee Brown. Now, I actually had Vixen the Assassin as power rank number one in female battle rap 2019. As far as the active battler, she is number one in my power ranking. I think she is going to have a sensational year if she gets the uh, right situations. She's been doing this shit for a long time. Vixen Assassin is not new to the game. She's been on Queen of the Ring. She's been on a variety of platforms coming out the Milwaukee area. So this is a home game, and she locked in on Black Ice Cartel. She's going up against somebody that has just been buzzing, and I mean buzzing, in the battle rap community for the last year. I'm talking about the girl Coffee Brown from out San Bernardino, man. Salute the Coffee Brown part of the mafia. But, you know, Coffee is popping, wordplay, hella presence. This battle, not only is this going to be a good looking battle, this is going to be a fucking bar fest. A real back and forth battle all the way down to the third. So you got to get your popcorn ready when it comes to Vixen the Assassin and Coffee Brown. I think they both um, are going to put on a movie, no doubt. Bobby Tsunami said he hasn't seen Coffee Brown battle yet. You mean ever in her career? Wow. Are you kidding me? You have not seen Coffee Brown battle? Oh, my God. Bobby Tsunami, I'm not even going to play you. You need to be drug tested, G. That's crazy. Just lie? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? That is crazy, man. You definitely don't know what you're missing. Now, I know a lot of people not even into female battle rap like that. But trust me, Coffee Brown is a heavy hitter. She's uh best of both worlds, you know, the, the looks. And she got the bars, presence, you know. And she definitely serious about her craft. She just not riding a wave because she a part of the, you know, the Geechee team or whatever. It's like she hold her own weight, like making hella noise. You got to see Coffee Brown and you got to watch Vixen the Assassin. Like these are two wordsmiths, especially Vixen. Her bars is crazy. Um, prediction, I'm going with Vixen the Assassin two to one. You know, it's going to be so tough. It's going to be so tough. And this prediction is really going to be... Uh, I don't want to say an end the building prediction, but I think this shit is going to go all the way down to the third round, you know. And like I said, Vixen is at home. You know, this is Coffee's first appearance on this platform. So Coffee could make a fucking movie and have the crowd just going crazy. So this is tough. This is tough. So I'm going with Vixen for now. I think I may eat some crow because Coffee might steal this battle. But, you know, taking a safe bet, which I usually... Oh, that's so disrespectful, taking a safe bet. But I'm going with Vixen the Assassin to beat Coffee Brown in a close 2-1 thanks to the third round. This shit is going to go all the way down to the end. Um, next up, we got Bricks Belvy versus Devere Depp now. I'm definitely going with Bricks. Uh, I'm not trying to be funny, but I do not have any real uh, research or homework on Depp. So I definitely got to do uh, a little bit of backstory on Depp. But Bricks Belvy, you know, I seen conversations, at least on social media from Bricks, just saying how serious he was going to be in 2019 when they come to taking niggas' heads off. So, you know, this is the start being on the uh, Black Ice Cartel Cold Case event January 27th. It's going to be interesting to see what Bricks can do because Bricks is another battle rapper, in my opinion, that got a crazy-ass skill set. But, you know... To me, yo, just because you're nice and talented don't mean a whole bunch if you don't have the battles to match your talent and your skill set. Not to say that battles really don't count, but it does get to a point where you need to have a consistent set of battles with some household names that people can kind of get, you know, familiar with. Because if you doing a lot of dope shit and got a lot of quotables, but... You know, the battle ain't really catching no views, catching no, you know, nothing on the radar. Like, it's a waste of time. And then as soon as you try to use it again on somebody that we know, 
we're going to shit on you for recycling your bars. So I think certain battle rappers definitely need to be strategic in 2019 as far as how many battles they're going to take and what battles they're going to take. But Bricks Belvy on Black Ice Cartel, it's a win-win for real. Um, I definitely got him beating Depp just by default because I don't have any work uh, really to go off of when they come to Depp. But I'm going to do my homework and see what he's about. But I'm going with Bricks in the clear uh, win. I'm going to go 2-1. I'm going to have a little bit of respect for the unknown, what I don't know. Bobby Tsunami said Bricks is nice, but he's seen Cortez outclass him all three rounds. Surf made a name off him in that one rounder. That's crazy. And and I think that you're right. Not so much of the Cortez situation, but the Sue Surf battle has, you know, kind of, I don't want to say haunted Bricks Belvy because he's gotten hella opportunities since then, but... I think that battle has really put some type of cast a shadow over him in his career in battle rap. And I don't understand because if you go back and check out that battle, I'm not saying surf loss. You know, I'm not trying to be, you know, blatantly disrespectful and ridiculous. Surf won that battle. Clearly, surf was going off. But Bricks has some good material. Bricks has some good material. To me, that day, it was just good versus great. You know, and, you know, Sue Surf is box office. So, you know, that definitely was the start. I, I definitely agree. But that shit has been, you know, hindering over him for the longest time. You know, in the battle rap community, you know, I think we need to kind of let that shit go. Maybe not let it go because you can't forget shit like that. You can't forget classic moments. But, you know, it's a small sample size when you look at everything that that boy has done. I think uh, Brick's definitely going to get it. Then we got the three-way battle. We got Clean Paper versus Killer B versus Showstopper. Now, these are all home team members from Black Ice Cartel. Killer B and Showstopper most definitely. Of course, we know Clean Paper spinning around, man. This is going to be a movie. Dope three-way battle. I don't think I've seen Clean in a three-way battle setting before. So, this is going to be dope for me to check out. It's going to be a lot of stage presence in this three-way battle. We're going to get some slick bars. I definitely know that. But I think the presence of the battle is going to be fire. I like Killer B. Uh, Killer B is crazy. Showstopper, very witty. Um, this battle could definitely be battle of the night. We got a lot of dope potential uh, battles on the card. You also see the undercard. But, you know, if I got to put my money on a battle of the night, I think I'm going to go with Clean Killer B and Showstopper in the three-way battle. You know, that's a lot of pressure because you got Bricks and Coffee Vixen and, and Danny Myers on deck. But I think Clean Killer B and Showstopper, for what it's worth, they're going to make a movie because niggas haven't seen Clean do this before, I don't think. So, you know, for that shit alone, Clean going to show us something different. And, you know, Killer B and Showstopper, it, they battled each other before. Um, and I'm pretty sure... Niggas been wanting to go at clean, you know, and the other QP because those are the, you know, top notch guys in the uh, Black Ice Cartel platform. So it's going to be a fucking fire battle. I do predict this to be the battle of the night. But I'm definitely going to go with uh, clean paper to show off and do his thing. You know, in this battle, I don't really see it being any losers. I think Killer B and Showstopper is going to do excellent. But I think as far as who's just going to win, no debatables. I'm putting that rent money on QP. Clean paper, man. Bobby Tsunami said he smell a Joe Flacco appearance today. He's so disrespectful to my Ravens, man. You know, the Eagles walk, moonwalk their way into the playoffs. And you just so happy and excited. I get it. I get it. I ain't mad at you, man. This is Crosswords, man. T7 on Radio 7. Mitchell in the building. We talking about black ice cartel cold case january 27th man milwaukee wisconsin man doors open at 1 p.m battle start at 2 fire event they starting the year off 2019 trying to make a fucking movie let's get into the main event bankhead versus the bar guard danny myers now bankhead definitely a solidified uh veteran of battle rap especially coming out there in in the uh Midwest Circuit, Danny Myers, man, we already know what Danny is about. We're talking about one of the greatest to ever do it. One of the greatest to ever do it. 
And if I'm not mistaken, Danny Myers on Black Ice Cartel may have only been one time. And I think that was the format battle versus Charlie Clips, which I think was in New York. So if I got my facts right, this is actually Danny Myers' first official Black Ice Cartel battle in Milwaukee. I think. I think. So that's fire for them to start the year off bringing Danny Myers in the mix. Him and Bankhead, they definitely going to go back and forth. I can't wait to hear some of the name flips that the bar guard going to have for Bankhead. I know he going to try to tear his name apart. But Bankhead, like I said, he a solidified vet. So him getting a shot at Danny Myers, a legend in this game, you know, that's a good look. Because you got the Midwest versus the West Coast. The West Coast is making noise. The Midwest, of course, has been making noise. So, you know, it's a lot on the line whether people know it, realize it, or want to accept it when it comes to Bankhead and Danny Myers. Because I think it opens the doors for a lot more. Because imagine if Bankhead gets the win over Danny. You know, that's going to fucking set a nice tone for Black Ice Cartel as far as their talent, you know, and, and every and people at home in that area, you know, moving forward, getting big battles, you know, home games, big home games, shit like that. So a little bit of pressure on Danny Myers. I know that sounds blasphemous because Danny has stood in front of some of the best, but, you know, Danny Myers can't miss a beat. He can't miss a beat. And the West Coast got a lot of momentum anyway going on right now. So if Danny Myers take a loss, an upset like this, Black Ice Cartel, we ain't going to let Danny Myers get a pass on this. So, Danny, you better buckle up, man. You know, but I'm willing to bet that Danny Myers is going to have his shit together. As always, Danny Myers is one of the best to do it. Bobby Tsunami said he got Danny Myers 2-1. to one. Bankhead is fired. No question. This is two veterans going at it. So you definitely got to have a level of respect, you know. Bankhead, real unorthodox, real witty, wordplay, official. So I'm definitely rocking with that. So those are my real predictions for the real top half of this card. I'm going with Danny over Bankhead. I'm going with QP, clean paper in the three-way battle. But I got that being battle with a night. Uh, Bricks Belvy, I got Bricks Belvy beating David Depp two to one clearly. Just by default, I got to do my homework on depth, so I do apologize for the lack of knowledge on that. And um, last but not least, man, Vixen the Assassin versus Coffee Brown. I said I had Vixen the Assassin 2-1. to one. This is a home game for her. So, you know, Coffee, though, Coffee is steaming hot, yo. Coffee is steaming hot, no pun intended. So, will she spill all over the stage in, in Milwaukee, man, and, and make history? This going to be so crazy. This is her first appearance on Black Ice. Cold case, man. Who getting bodied? Are we going to have straight bodies on this card? Are we going to have some classics on this card? Are we going to have some cold cases? Are we going to not find out what the fuck happened to some rappers after the event? It's going to be crazy, man. January 27th, cold case, Black Ice Cartel. Salute to everybody on the Black Ice Cartel staff. I'm Seven Mitchell, man. T7M Radio. Make sure y'all hit that like button comment and subscribe y'all give me your predictions of who y'all got on this fire card man like i said it's gonna be a fucking movie salute to everybody that's involved quick reminder people if you guys would like to be a special debate guest here on crosswords debating your boy shoot us a battle rap topic of your choice email t7m radio at gmail.com let us know what you want to talk about here on the show we'll definitely bring you on We'll break things down, man. Y'all already know how we rock. Salute again to the Battle Rap community. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat right now. T7 on Radio. This is Crosswords. I'm Seven Mitchell. About to get out of here Sunday morning. Got another fire video. Uh, We're going to break down a little bit later on today. I want to talk about Hitman Holler calling out Murder Mook. Oh, yeah. We got more noise coming out of the Midwest. We got to talk about that um, and see what that potential battle is looking like for 2019. But again, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. If you guys would like to donate to the T7M Radio Network, uh, we definitely have a couple donation links, tips, donations, contributions. We definitely appreciate it. They all are in the description box. Also, if you guys are on Facebook, join the T7M Radio Battle Rap Debate Group. Uh, links for that is in the description box as well. You can follow me on Twitter, as you can see, at 7Mitchell, or you can follow us all at the T7M Radio 
on Twitter, man. Social media plug. Y'all already know how we rock. Y'all stay safe, though. Have a good Sunday. Cold case, January 27th. Make sure y'all support RB, uh, uh, Black Ice Cartel. Make sure y'all support RBE with their event, Pearly Gates 3. I know Smack got no 9 and Smack Volume 4 coming up um, in February. So make sure y'all support all these platforms, you know, because they got a lot that they bring into the streets 2019. But I'm about to get up out of here. I'm Seven Mitchell, T7M Radio. This is Crosswords, man. Y'all stay safe. Going down, cold case, January 27th. It's going to be a fucking movie. Black Ice Cartel back at it. Y'all already know how we rocking. This is Crosswords. Seven Mitchell, T7M Radio, man. I'm out. Peace.